Welcome to .NET Code Snippet with Bootstrap. In this video section, I am going to show you how to create login page in ASP.NET by using Bootstrap. In my previous video, I already show you how to create this header section and how to create these tabs. This is a continuation of this my previous video. Before the, before continuing this video, I strongly recommend you to watch my previous video. In this video, I am going to create login form uh, just as shown in this image form. I want to create this login box and when I click the proper username and password, the user login successfully image will be displayed and if I enter any wrong password, username, that will be displayed invalid username and password in, in this alert. Uh, let me design for that. Here, instead of this login tab message, I want to display this user login alert and this panel. I want to create that. For that, I have to go to this bootstrap side, the component. In below, just you go to the alerts. Just click on the alerts. Here, we have four types of alerts available here. Just copy this this code and just go to here in the section and just trace that code here and just here you see we have four alerts here alert success information warning but we no need information warning here just name me here and then afterward I want to add panels to I want to add these panels so just simply copy just simply copy this and paste here give some space and paste here exactly now save it just go through here and just refresh here you see we have no alerts and panels but it's not as, as shown in this image that's shown in the small box and it's everything is showing in a small content so let me customize that here to display as a small box just we need to some customize course we have to write with just copy this and paste for everything Now save it. Now go refresh. Everything has as our requirement is matching. No, we need we need to display instead of this page content. We need to display username, password, controls. So I already have written that controls here. Just I'm copy and paste here. Sorry. remove that and paste here save it and go to the page and refresh refresh it's not working save it and refresh ok in this control have this but I just have to remove this and save it refresh here here you see as per the requirement we got everything I said but in this image I shown you is a blue color and this control uh, button has showing as a blue color but this panel is not showing as a blue color just need to change some here we need to change this panel class to panel primary and save it ok refresh ok now we need to do one more customization because 
the everything control as is sticking to the left side just I want to move to some right side for that I have to write something view style margin left 50 ok uh, need to close this ok and refresh sorry remove this minus symbol and save it now you see that will give some space ok now let's write some code for button click and I want to disable this for that we need to go to behind this I have already written some code let's see when this page load code will execute these alerts will be disabled you see now it's disabled when I click this button Oh, I have to display if the user and password is successfully login then I have to display your login is successfully or if you invalid user and password the invalid user and password error message will be displayed in your alert box for that we need to write this code before that uh, we need to go to this button double click on it simply copy the code and paste here and remove this code ok uh, let me explain this code once we see this working or not in you see when when I click the submit button the text to username username will be user1 and the password will be 12345 if that username password match this code will be executed and what this code return means this code return user login successfully if invalid username and password invalid user and password the else condition will be executed let's see here just refresh username I am giving some invalid username here let me see when I click username password it will display invalid username password if I give proper username and password it have to display log your login successfully hi, hi friends welcome to welcome to code snippet in this in my previous video show you see how to, how to add, add header with bootstrap in ASP.NET in this video I am going to show you uh, how to discuss about the bootstrap tab in bootstrap with header uh, bootstrap in ASP.NET uh, just as you see I have shown you an example here home and uh, profile drop down list when I click home button bootstrap home content will be shown in below of that home when I click on 